everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a dupe alert. <laughs> um, that's just kind of silly. I feel like there should be like a <laughs> type of noise. Like this is a dupe. Everybody look out. Um, but I mean, I just, I kind of, I thought about this more and more recently. I started using these two products more and more recently. And honestly, it really shocked me that I felt that they were dupes. Um, the way, honestly, like the color of the product itself, the texture of the product, the effect that it had on the makeup. And the products that I'm talking about here today are the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer. And this is the Dewy Primer. I just recently, I believe, used this in a video that I had posted. As well as the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Um, so I had gotten this in, in, in a kit from Ulta. So it was this, a blush... And maybe that was it. I think it may have just been this and the blush. Um, and so I'm not sure if this is the full size, though I think it is. And I think it retailed for between like $20 and $25, I think. Um, this is from Wet n Wild, like I said. Um, and it is, I want to say it was like 3 or $4. Um, in my last video, I kind of talked about Target and Cartwheel and kind of the offers that they can have for various makeup products. So I'd actually gotten this from Target, and the day that I purchased it, they had a special where, I think it was it was either 10 or 15% off all Wet n Wild primers. So I ended up getting this one and like an eye primer that they have. Um, but this is actually one of two that I saw right next to each other. So this is the dewy one, like I said, and they also have a matte version. I have not tried the matte one, um, although I would be curious to see what, um, like how that performed, what sort of effect that had. But honest to goodness, I first applied this and I like was blown away, um, with the texture of it and how I knew it reminded me of something, but I just couldn't pinpoint what it reminded me of. And I came to realize after, you know, using this one in, um, you know, days to come that it was this that it reminded me of. So I'm going to show you guys. Um, so this is, this is the Wet n Wild one. It is a little bit, um, like almost tan in color and it rubs out and it has like the most faint sheen to it. Um, which is why I think they call it the dewy one. Yeah, you can just like see how it's got like the most faint little sheen to it. And um, honestly, like it's not glittery or anything like that, but it just, it feels so nice on the skin and it really, so for me, I like that this is more dewy versus matte because I have a little bit more I have combination skin, but I would say it leans more towards the dry side. So I like having, you know, dewier, more moisturizing foundations and primers and moisturizers. So that stands out to me personally. Now, if you're not someone that likes a more dewy primer, I don't know if I'd go for these. Um, but it's not a silicone -y feel at all. It is just very hydrating and very illuminating. It really makes your skin... Um, I don't want to say it looks oily or anything, but it really makes whatever foundation you use, and I've really been recently pairing this with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation, which is full coverage and very matte. So it really makes that a little bit more illuminating on the skin, to where even though I have dry skin, it's not looking like I have dry skin, which is definitely what I'm going for. So I'm going to wipe this off of my hands just because... I do feel it had an effect on my hand, <laughs> and I'm going to show you guys what the Becca one looks like, um, so that you guys can at least kind of compare them. Now, I would not say either of these have a, like, a tint to them in the sense that it's going to actually tint your skin, so, like, even though that one was a little bit more sheen, almost like a champagne color, I don't think that that really shows on your skin. Like, my skin doesn't look champagne-y after I'm done applying that, so I definitely did want to point that out. Like, <laughs> this is so funny because, honest to God, if I was blindfolded and somebody put this on my hand and was like, what primer is this of these two? I'd be like, I don't know. Because <laughs> they they look exactly the same. Because here you can see you've got that one, um, the Becca primer, the back, Becca Backlight Priming Filter. And I'm just going to rub that on in. But seriously, like, exact same feeling, exact same texture. I can't even describe it like it's but it looks exactly the same 
So I'm going to, because I'm kind of curious and I'm just wasting primer now, so we might as well just go with it. I'm going to put them side by side with each other because I want you guys to see that they're exactly, they look exactly the same, um, like just visually, because that's intriguing to me. But you should also know, and this is why I'm telling you, they feel exactly the same. I definitely recommend these. Um, okay. Ooh, okay. So this one right here is the Becca primer. This one right here is the Wet n Wild primer. Literally. Exactly the same. <laughs> like, shocking to me, really. Um, and Becca, you know, I have not tried really many products from Becca. This primer and then the blush that I got in the kit are the only two products I've tried. Not because I don't want to try more, but just because they're a little pricey. And I unfortunately haven't been able to just go out and buy the foundations or anything. But I definitely do want to try their foundations and some of their other products as well. But it's definitely not as inexpensive as the Wet n Wild primer. So I definitely think that these are dupes for each other in the way that they the way that they look, the way that they feel, the way that they perform, and I think that is really what stands out the most. You know, the way that they look is nothing big. If they looked completely different, if one of them was, was green, it wouldn't bother me as long as it did a good job. Although if it was green, it probably wouldn't, if we're being honest. But my point is that, you know, the way that it looks isn't significant to, as much to me. The way that it feels initially is also not as significant to me, although they do feel incredibly similar and I do think that says something. The way that they perform is really what stands out to me. Um, so often you have products that you initially may think they're dupes and then a few hours later as you're wearing them a bit longer, you realize those aren't dupes at all. Um, and that's something that, you know, for example, foundations, those, that's really prevalent in foundations just because foundations wear completely differently and sometimes higher end foundations just perform better. That said, sometimes lower end foundations and drugstore foundations perform better. So, I mean, it's all up in the air. But my overall point is that not only do these look and feel, but they perform exactly the same. And that's what stands out to me the most about this. And that's why I feel that they are dupes. So, um, you're having probably a between a 10 and $15 difference. I am going to put in the description box below what the price online is for each of them individually. Like I said, I got the Becca primer in a kit, so typically kits can be a little bit more um, cost-friendly. So I'm kind of curious if I were to buy it as a standalone product, how much it would cost. But that said, I definitely think I have found a dupe for a higher-end product with a Wet n Wild product, and I hope that that is useful for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel before you go, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>